when you consider the number of children that that are that 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 are whose pregnancies kept their mother by surprise what something like half of the pregnancies in this country are unplanned and about half of those end in abortion those are very very rough figures but uh even so um what approximately 3000 per day in this country end in abortion now you think about that number uh, you know, when one man dies, it's a tragedy. When a million die, dies, it's a statistic. Remember that from Mao Zedong or someone like that or Lenin or Stalin or some monster like that. Uh, and so these numbers sometimes get away from us. Wow, 3,000. On September 11, 2001, 2,977 people died as a result of that terrorist attack on American soil. That's, what, 23 less than the 3,000 average that die every day, day after day, in 40-plus years now since Roe v. Wade. So you want to put it in perspective. Time magazine called 9-11 the bloodiest day on American soil since the Civil War. They were wrong. Every single day is a bloodier day. 3,000. And the fact is, many, many women would rather kill their child than give their child up for adoption. It, it Go figure, right? But it's a fact, and those of you who are working in this business know the girls that will say, oh, no, I could never do that to my child, speaking of adoption, but would readily consider abortion. It's... It's it's it is demonic. I don't know what other word to use to describe it. How a person could be convinced that it is a more noble thing to terminate the life of their unborn child rather than give that life to someone else to care for. Now the difference is, I think, for them, they realize if they carry, determine, give birth, and give the child away to someone else, that they will, that will be tremendously emotionally traumatic for them, which is true. And they think sitting for a half, laying for a half an hour on an abortionist table is going to settle this with no trauma. They're wrong about that. They are just flat out wrong. Now it may not be as much trauma as giving away a child that you gave birth to. But it isn't that there's no trauma in it. And maybe it's better for you to suffer to save. Just a thought. Greg Kokel, Stand to Reason.